Hey everybody, it's me, Uncle Greg. It's lean, that's right. Looking at another box. Some more components for the solar system came in. You know, I really wish that UPS or whoever, I mean, come on. It's all shrink wrapped up and taped up. I hope nothing's damaged in there, but we'll find out because Luna Girl and I, we're gonna put it together. So you'll find out what it is in a minute. But before we get to it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and use that Amazon code because everything doesn't cost you anything more, but it helps us. Thanks, guys. See you in a moment. Oh, well, we're back. We put us up a workstation here. Luna's enjoying the sun. Luckily, my wife manhandled that up on the table for me. That's why I don't give her any grief because she's stronger than I am well and you can't hurt to cook all right let's open it up see what this box cutter will do and I'll be right back all righty I love those little Klein pliers that I got cut these bands look at there 50 50 chance to put it upright because this is the lid and I got it wrong hang on all right, we got the lid off. Here's the big moment of the reveal. What is it? What is it? It's a steel panel. What could this possibly be? Okay. Well, so far, I don't see anything dented on that one. Guess we'll get this out piece by piece. And I'll lay it out, and you'll know what it is. All right, we got all the pieces out. Looks like we got one end piece. That could be the back, maybe the front. And I guess those are some kind of shelves and racks that go between them. Why do I guess? Because there's no freaking instructions anywhere. I've got some corner brackets there, got some more pieces of metal there, some little L shaped brackets. That's busted, but it's not a big deal. That shows one of the bus bars and that's another bus bar over there and this is a bag with some positive and negative cables so and a bunch of screws and bolts but no instructions so do you know what it is now yeah it's one of those signature solar uh, battery racks to hold three batteries of their lipo 4 used to be the gold batteries or something like that I don't have batteries yet they're expensive but you get what you can while you can get it so I gotta call them up and get some instructions on how to put this together. Get back to you in a little bit. Alrighty, Signature Solar is closed right at the moment. So I've looked at this pretty good. So this bracket right here is bent. Not a big deal. I could probably bend it back, but you know, it's just a point of being brand new. It's bent. This is broke. There's no instruction manual. I did find a video for a six station rack, which I guess is the same, but the guy is being filmed from like eight feet away. He's like, yeah, just put these up and with a bolt. So, you know, which bolts do I use? This bolt, those bolts, those bolts. Who knows? You know. The thing does not come with wheels, which I didn't notice when I ordered. That's bad on me, but you would think with something this heavy, it would come with some casters, especially for the price. I mean, they're not cheap. They're you know, 400 and something dollars. And lastly, on that note, you know, the, they give you a wire to hook up, I guess, your first set of batteries or whatever, and you got to put your own clamps on. You know, I guess they would say, well, everybody's measurement's different, but... I'm like, well, hey, now I gotta go out and buy a $150 crimper to make the wires. Okay, enough complaining. I'll get them on the horn and see what they have to say. All right, after I called Signature Solar, he sent me in an email on how to assembly with photos. So I'm gonna take this one off. You see that little thing there? It goes like that. And then your holes here line up, okay, basically. So if it doesn't fit, turn it around. So what happens is this is like a top rail, okay? And then when you put your screws in right there, make sure you use a really big screwdriver. 
they're kind of self-tapping. I mean, there's like holes there, but the threads on the screw make it. So make sure you put those in straight and you only put in two on each one for right now and just kind of leave them loose until you get all four and then that one on. So you can see this is the top and you make sure when you put that side on that the that this part you know is facing the same way so let me get these all on and then i'll get back with you all right so we'll start using a little bit of process of elimination here there's 12 of these screws there's 12 of those i don't know exactly what those are for because I thought these, I thought these were the bus bars and those would be in there, but I guess those are for grounding either way. But there's a bus bar on this side, and a bus bar on that side. So I guess when I further read the instructions, I'll find out. Okay, so we got one of these bars. It's kind of a U-shaped deal. This goes on the bottom. See where that bottom is? So it goes there, and I guess four screws hold it in place figure it out here in a minute but anyways so once I get this in place by hand and then each one of these takes like one two three four five six seven of those I'll start all those by hand and once I get it all by hand then I will use the drill to tighten them all up and I'll show you what it looks like okay so you see here I haven't tightened those all the way down I got three there and I can't put three or four there because that one's in the middle when they ship them. I guess they put that so everything's straight. I really don't know. But, but I took that out on the other one, that top one. And then I'm going to put two in. So you may have to do the same. And these are all not being tightened up. I mean, they're all, you know, until I start all the screws, then I'll tighten them all up. So here you can see where I unscrewed the one and just moved it over a slot. So I could put that other one in that little nuts in the way of getting a third one, I think. So that's one, two, three, four, five. It's like six per six per corner. This thing's built like a tank. Okay, so if you were going to put this in a concrete place, the best I could figure out is those would screw down like that. And you would drill holes and attach these into the floor like this and then bolt them up. But you know, what's the point of that if they can undo the nuts or they can just slide the things out? Maybe they sell optional locking panels that go on there because there's four screws here. Oh, well, who knows? Anyways, I'll put those screws in. We'll be done. Well, I hope you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Use that Amazon link because it really helps me. And you buy stuff anyways and it costs you nothing more. So have a good one, guys. We'll See you on the next part of this installment.